you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to solve the problem that is displayed at the left hand side of the screen and the question says a bar with square cross section of 40 millimeter side is 120 millimeter long at one end a length of 50 millimeter is turned down to 30 millimeter diameter from the other end a 20 millimeter diameter hole is drilled right through the bar the whole center line being perpendicular to the top face make a dimensioned orthographic sketch of the part and an isometric sketch now in this particular video i'll be starting with the isometric projection of it unlike my previous video when i started with what the orthographic projection of it but throughout today i'm using free hands right so the only thing you need today is just your pencil now let's start first thing you need to put into notice it says a bar which is what square cross section that means the bar is square throughout square cross section that means when you cut it into two you split it into two like um if i have this this is my pencil if i remove the top like this the thickness here you see is called cross section so when you cut the bar into two this is the thickness of the bar what do you mean by what square cross section meaning that the length is equal to the width is equal to what the length equals to the width and that's what is it 40 millimeter side and it is 120 millimeter long so what i'll do is this i am going to draw my isometric projection draw this this way um just little you don't have to disturb yourself a straight line is a isometric projection inclined at 30 degree also inclined at 30 degree right take this up also close this up take this up also close this up then take this to side and also close it up so let's see the length of it from this point straight down to this point is 100 and what 20 make it that more visible you can see that from the question it says the length is 120 millimeter then the width the actual width from here to here from here to here is 40 and the height from here up down here is given to be another 40 that's what they mean by cross section here is 40 here is 40 here is 40 this is square cross section and the length is what 120 the question now move ahead and say that um for one end 50 millimeter is turned down to 30 millimeter diameter 50 millimeter length so from the other end here let's say this is 50 here so this is our 50 let's bring it out our 50 again let's bring it out right this is the 50 here yours can be longer never it must be the same this 50 here we have so from here to here is 50 millimeter it is now turned down to what to 30 millimeter so it's turned down so it was reduced from this point let's see this is from here to here then i'll take it out So it is turned down to 30 but it said diameter 
So it means it will be circular. So I can just apply my isometric projection here like I always taught, teach you. If I place here this way. I'll close it up. Bring it down. Right? So when I'm joining, I can easily join from here to here. Join from here to here. Also here. And here. And it's going in. It's going in. Then I'll close it up. Can you see that? So let me bring that out this way. Right? So I can take this in too. Hope you can see that. So you now said a hole of 20 millimeter is drilled inside of it this way. And another one was perpendicular to it at the side here. Are we there? So the whole diameter you see, this is diameter of what? 20 millimeter diameter. Why is particular one you see here? Is 30 millimeter diameter. Here also 20. I will together. So this is what we have. A sketch. That what they want. So it means from here to here is 40. Here also is what 40. That what they mean by square cross section. All together, then the length from here to 50 at one end. So, this is what we have. So, the next one is the orthographic projection. Like I always tell you, just um, don't disturb yourself much. Just let me take this up a little bit. Right? So, and let me place it here. So, if I see my to write projection, I'm just talking about having this this way. You draw the long one this way. You do this this way. Can you see that? So at this point, you draw this. The length of this bar here. End line first. This is 120. From here to here is 120. So you shut it down. This is you remove 50 from 120, right? And you'll be seeing this. This is what looking at from this side, you see this hole here. And the whole through will come in here this way. Like looking from the side. Right? Then the other one, this is the side elevation. From the plan, you have to see the same thing too. Working out. So the same thing is coming. You have your heading line here for the circular going in on this circle here I'm talking about this right but in this case you will not see this now you just see hidden line going through why because it's the plan so it's just coming through this way when you're looking from the top you can see this side so you just put in that side then the end view you'll be having something like this
then the circular point that is there this way that is used in the hidden line here this is circle here so this is what we have the other circle inside we are looking from the front you see the circle which is this to the outer which is this and this hidden line here for the circle there so it's uniform cross section so from here the width is 40 the length is also 40 then from here to here is 120 here also the same thing to 40 then our diameter the diameter you see here 30 millimeter diameter while the inner one is 20 this inner one you see here is 20 so this is what you should sketch out so this is the solution to our problem here you should be more better than mine no i'm still so you should be better than mine so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and also share the video thanks for watching